Hey everybody, Lawrence here with Dirty Base Strength coming at you with another one. This is about helping your fellow crafters. Now, what I mean by this is not doing the whole craft form or anything like that. Well, but you can if you want, but support but supporting your fellow crafters by sending stuff that they need if you have it to them. Now I'm not just saying I'm not saying just give it to them, but so that no one feels like you know, kind of out of sorts or like oh I don't want to do that. Trade stuff. Send them something, they send you something, and you're both happy. As long as you're both happy, then there's no hurt feelings. But say someone's trying to get a project started. Now here's an example, it's actually true. A fellow crafter was making some sewer tiles and they ran out of some cobblestone vinyl pieces that they had that they had gotten from the Dollar Tree last year. I had bought a boatload of them thinking, yeah, I'm gonna use these. And they were, were sitting in my, in my drawer stuff one of my many drawers of stuff and just sitting and sitting and they had mentioned that they didn't have any more. I had offered, hey, if you want, I got a bunch, I can send them to you. They did, They said, no, I want to try something else. Well, they tried. It wound up not working. So they, a couple of us actually offered to send her these, these vinyl ro cobblestone roads. But she actually took me up on my offer and I sent them to her. She sent me a bunch of stuff in exchange. And in the end, she finished her sewer tiles. And I got a bunch of cool stuff that some of it's sitting in my bin, some of it I have used. So we, in the end, we, rather than selling, don't, selling stuff, that's what eBay and Etsy is for. But, we just traded, we made an even trade and I paid for the shipping to their house. They paid the shipping to my house. So no, no money was really exchanged hands. So there's none of that, but we just traded bits and we we're both happy. And me personally, I think that's a good way of going about it. When fellow crafters need something, you have it, just let them, just send it to them and they can send you some bits and stuff that you may or may not need. But again, it, we're, as crafters, we're hoarders. Let's face it, we're not collectors. We're hoarders. We'll hoard anything cool that we think we may use eventually. But help, every, help each other out. That's what this, you know, a part of this community is about helping each other out. Just share. They can share with you, you share with them. It's a pretty simple process. But recently, I had sent a bunch of Dollar Tree items up to someone who did not have any Dollar Trees in their area. And in exchange, they sent me some skulls. I got them. I'm going to unbox them and show them to you. Now, if you guys like fluff, if you guys like Wrath with Fluffy Tails, yeah, you don't want to stick around for this bit. But I'm going to open them up because I know what they are. I just told you what they are, or, but I haven't actually seen them. So let's get to opening this up and see what I got. <laughs> Alrighty, let's check this out. Uh, white duct tape? Huh, well, it definitely wasn't going to get open accidentally in shipping, that's for sure. Again, I have not actually seen pictures of what pictures of these. I was told about them. I wanted them, so I got them. Ooh. Moose poop. Legitimate moose poop. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> oh, yep. I use the same packaging material. Not sure what this is. Hmm. 
Uh, I seriously don't know what this is. Oh! The bird skull. No, that is cool. No, get it on camera. There, there we go. No, no, yep, yep, nope. Oh, there we go. An actual bird skull. The top beak is missing, but it can still be used for a cool piece in a build. No, definitely a display build, because as delicate as this is, you do not want it on the gaming table with your fellow nerds. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, I can think of something to use this for already. Put that off to the side. Good way of shipping it, though. I will say that. Okay. Very nervous about opening some of this stuff. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Squirrel skulls. Now, these are legit skulls. These aren't plastic. These are actual skulls. So they are going to make for some really cool builds. Hey, look, if I'm willing to use real maggots in my builds, I'm going to use real skulls. Oh, yeah. Lots of skulls. Lots of scully goodness. I think these are more skulls. Oh, yeah. Gotta love the skulls. These will definitely make for some really cool builds. And I'm just making sure. Okay. Got some squirrel skulls, which I can easily turn into monster, mon dead monster, monster skulls. Then this bird skull and moose poop. I'll be honest, I'm really happy. This is actually really cool. I can, my head's already swimming with a bunch of bills for these skulls. So thank you, Quarrel. I This is really cool. Thank you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely happy with what I got. Some actual legit skulls to use in my builds. Like I said, if I'm willing to use maggots, legit real maggots in my builds, I am most definitely willing to use skulls. <laughs> but, again, thank you, thank you, Quarrel, for sending those to me. Really appreciate it.